Hello everyone and welcome to episode 21 of the Logo to Global series here on the channel using DW2020 as the Kyoki Puro. Next show we have is Ashes of a Phoenix as uh, we do have some bit of news. We have a new debut, the White Angel, as he is going to be a part of the Legion of Love. That's fun, we got four people of Legion of Love, we got four people of Dark Agents. They should probably have a match as uh, uh, Kiyoshi Kawamura, his contract is coming to an end. As he is upset, and uh, maybe if we can, you know, swing him the other way as far as major morale issues, I don't think we will. We gave that man so much goddamn money. What a complete idiot move on our part. I hit the wrong thing. Uh, so he handed in his notice. That's why he's gone. Uh, FCW, uh, which is uh, Freedom Caribbean Wrestling, they're uh, going out of business, it looks like. A lot of people have been leaving. Uh, there, as you can see there, they are very, very low on money. Uh, you know, maybe we can get somebody from there. Uh, you know, with uh, kind of the way things go, we'll see. As uh, there's there's a couple of people I've always liked using. Uh, the kid San Juan comes to mind. He's, he's you know, arrow guy. I'm trying to think. Bull Wrecker and Hell's Bouncer is always the one. Bull Wrecker, you know, but he's a little, he's on the heavyweight side. We won't bring him in. Uh, Jesus Chavez, usually a, a far as hardcore guy, another heavyweight guy. They have a lot of heavyweights. There's, uh, besides one, uh, there's a, I feel like there's another one. Who am I? It's not, is it Rico Santana? No, that Rico Santana still got. Or is the, uh, the announcer, rather. Oh, fuck it. Fuck <laughs> it. Right, but they're going out of business. That's kind of crazy. They've been, they've been there since 2007. Yeah, that was uh, crazy. Okay, almost the beginning of the fucking Seavers. That's just kind of what's going on in the world. Uh, people leaving JCW looks like. That's interesting. Uh, just a you know brand new company in Japan, the Japanese Championship Wrestling. And kind of people have already seems like they're quitting, but they're just hiring people to come back. Their tours are going pretty well. Uh, they're uh, wow. They're losing money. Uh, that's interesting. Out here, always thinking, yeah, they're doing well. They haven't made. They're gonna be out of the business <laughs> before you know it. I'll be a son of a bitch. <laughs> well, there's that. Who else is going out of business? I wonder. Uh, let's just. Ah, uh, uh, we can just go to the other. Camera. What the episode this has turned into? Is this just everybody in Japan? Yeah, Bl uh, Black Ham's doing great. Everybody's. But Jesus Christ, Burning Hammer has so much money. Uh, yeah, J uh, JCW, <laughs> us with $22,000. Uh, yeah. So we're, we're somehow keeping afloat. So, shoot. I wonder how they're doing. I feel like that's... Ah! Uh, well, they were losing money a hot minute. There was a, a, a good while where they weren't making shit. Seemed like they turned the corner. But uh, and they they definitely don't turn the corner now. Yeah, really, 2000 and, and the end of 2020, they were almost on death's door. That's wild. Probably had to get rid of some contracts, and whatnot, and kind of figure out a way. I mean, could we buy out JCW? <laughs> That's one of the. See what I have to say. Ah, yeah. Figure not. That's fun though. Uh, if they're probably gonna go out of business. Cause they've they've only been a thing yeah since March of 2021. Maybe they can. Uh, Ride this out, but it's not looking like it. Yeah, they are. Uh, they've been losing out. Pretty much thirty, yeah, thirty-seven, thirty thousand. Yeah, they just got their contract situation. Just alone, fuck them. We'll see how it goes though for them. As the advance to our show, the Ashes of the Phoenix. What a main event we got! The man who has been. A, a legend of some sort for us. Uh, the man who is the only road agent we have, thanks because we asked him to be a road agent, as well as being a pro wrestler, Kenji Akamatsui. He's taking on the champion, Tsunaki some more. This man is almost 20 years his elder... Oh, no, not, not even 20 years, but 38 years old against a 23-year-old kid, Tsunaki some more. He's younger than me. <laughs> I can call him a kid as... Uh, we'll keep it 10 minutes. But soon Marcus Moore is going to win. There, we might do some interference. But for the time being, it is going to be a death match, which that's fun. Uh, Kenji, uh, you know, like Kyoki Puro, 
title match, that's a death match. You don't get that uh, a whole lot of, lot of times there. So we'll do Ant-Man for that. Because we got quite the show. So we might just run out of time as the co-main event. Match that we've seen probably five times now. Graham Gorman, Ant-Man, one-on-one. Uh, it won't be a death match, but just to kind of... Wow. Uh, so, b besides the tag, so we'll keep that kind of out of range. It's, they had their, their trilogy to start off Kyoki Puro. Now, a year later, a year and some change later, they get to wrestle again in the kill main event of this show, which, uh, if you saw, you remember then Ant-Man won the trilogy, and Ant-Man is going to win tonight. He's going to be... Graham Gorman. It's gonna be a uh, slow build it because th these guys can work. These <laughs> these two fucking guys can work. So we'll uh, make that uh, slow build decisive. Ant Man's gonna pick up the win as the uh, next match. It is uh, you know probably though not the smartest idea. As oh, oh yeah we <laughs> never mind. I was gonna have uh, can actually Carol Moore be on the card, but we, you know, gave him all that money, and then told him not to show up as well. So there, there goes that idea. Uh, we're gonna have him take on Edo Phoenix 4. Just that Edo Phoenix 4 got an easy win, but, again, Edo Phoenix 4 has not been on the show since he lost the belt. We're, you know, we're gonna keep him, keep him at bay, I guess. Just, uh, as the next match. Then we'll skip over Edo Phoenix 4's match, as it's Acid 2 and fucking Aztec Prince. This match is gonna be fucking awesome. As, I mean, in the past, they've had some barn burners. Uh, Acid 2 has won pretty much every time. As you see back in February and in October of last year. Winning uh, again and again. This time, though, we're going to have Aztec Prince get the win. As, uh, keep that about 13 minutes there. Oh, not, I forgot to make that not a death match. Perky, perky, perky. Oh, he was intimidated. Uh, Acid 2 was unhappy about the booking of the matches, and he looked like he was about to complain. Uh, but he had a change of heart after noticing a, the intimidating sight of Aztec Prince cracking his knuckles and glaring. How fun. There go Aztec Prince. I just want to look at the booking now. So we do have to do a high spots match uh, as well, which I kind of... Not sure what we're going to have that be. Uh, as uh, the opener, which is kind of crazy, because we're already at our time limit at the... Uh, you know, it's the, the minimum... But, uh, it is going to be a four-man, or four-person in this case, matchup, as we have the Dark Agents. Uh, you know, we've got Cloak of Shadows, we got Stealth Z, and we got Spider Sokka. Taken on, as, uh, is he not going to, is he son of a bitch? Oh, son of a bitch. He's working somewhere else, isn't he? Yep. Yep, so is Nami Genda. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that's tough. Well, there goes that idea. We'll, we'll pencil that in for next week as well. Uh, it's so, in, in, instead, <laughs> uh, we're going to do something a little different. We are going to... We'll have it be a singles match. Um, let's see. Sweet so Phoenix 4. We could use a match against somebody. Uh, we could have him take on Spider Izako, but I think really the big play. Uh, you know, and Yuta hasn't done anything either. I guess we could do him and Yuta. That could be a match. Yuta hasn't won in a hot minute, but gives Eo Phoenix 4. Uh, wow, they have not wrestled. I could have sworn they've wrestled before, but Edo Phoenix 4 is going to get the win here in that fashion. This one is a regular coup. As uh, then, maybe we have to make this a high spot, and so Yuta's just going to shit the bed. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, well, I got an idea. So we're going to open up the show. Stealth Z, Prince Prodigy. They've, uh, I think it's going to be really, really good. Yeah, they haven't had a singles match. I'm going to give them 12. As the Stealth Z is going to pin Prince Prodigy. Cool. So 
71 minutes. Edo Phoenix 4 is on the card. Acid 2. Aztec Prince. So, uh, just to, uh, we're gonna do this angle. So, Yuda is, uh, so we're gonna have Yuda attack. Ah, uh, yeah. Have interference. Uh, oh, yeah, Genji Akamatsui, Yuta. Perfect. As, uh, we're probably gonna have to put that all the way there. So, Yuta. And Sumaki some more. They're attacking Genji Akamatsui. They're, you know, after the bell rings, they're still putting on. You, Edo Phoenix forces to make the big save. As, uh, Edo. Save again. Uh, get some more. You have uh, three. Oh uh, yeah, two three minutes is fine. Um, not really sure how we're gonna rate this. We'll just have fighting, fighting, selling, fighting. We'll just do that. Maybe open us for you, for you to first four. Yeah, we'll do, that that work. All right, we got that uh, pre-show wise. Let's have Umihara and Dead Man walking in a death match. Umihara is gonna get the win. Sick. <laughs> like six minutes and a tag match. The Aki Army encloped in jet. Cool. And that. I always forget. I, yeah, I think it's Prowler is the one that's a little better. I could be wrong. Obviously, it's not going to have to be a death match. That sucks if we ran out of time. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, we'll. Oh call it there. I guess I can get time somewhere, but I think we'll be alright. Yeah. Alright. Let's run the show. So yeah, that's a 25. Shadow was the one that's usually a little better. Yeah. As uh, Aki Kamiyo still was uh, crowd shitted on her, so it must be if you're below 25. That must be the cap. But uh, Kermochi uh, takes the fall from the dagger from darkness in 939. That got a 25 though. There's a 35 here for Umihar and Dead Man Walking Death Match. Uh, Umihar with a 40, Dead Man Walking with a 21. That's a Shield of Breaker win. This could actually have been on the main card if we kind of changed some time around and whatnot. We probably could have done that, but uh, it's not a big deal. As yeah, Stealth Z is fucking awesome. The Ultra Z Fist in 1213. Uh, this is a high spots match. Stealth Z getting the shot to strong shot. What a fucking match. As he killed it there, Prince Baji taking a fall. As a 51, Elo Phoenix 4 kind of continuing that kind of wave and uh, got the crowd even hotter somehow. As the Blaze of Glory 12 back in action, Elo Phoenix 4 since losing his title, taking on Yuta there. And he beats him. That was a 951. As an another for 52, as a Acid 2, Aztec Prince. Aztec Prince finally beats him as he wins with a triple power bomb at 1245. 49 for Acid 2, 48. For Aztec Prince. And a 49 for this Ant Man Graham Gorman matchup as an antidote gets the win for Ant Man in 1629. He outperformed Graham Gorman 48 to 41. Uh, great little matchup. This card has been a uh, chef's kiss so far. This has been great. As uh, then the match, the main event for the Kyoki Piro title, Asumaki Samora defeats Ken Jacob in 1022 in a death uh, with a shooting star press after. I want to see Yuta comes in, takes him out with a light tube, lays him out a couple of times with him, and then just shoots a press one, two, three. That's crazy that that match was the worst match on the card. Uh, which, I mean, not surprised, but it sucks nonetheless. But the first death match for the Kiki Piro title, that is fun. Historic, one might say. Then this, the angle there as uh, Ego Phoenix 4 makes a save against uh, Samara and Yuta, running him off in Kenji Akamatsui. As, uh, my god. That was, um, what a undercard. I knew when that undercard was going to put together the Aztec 
uh, Prince Acid 2 match. That was going to be really well. Ant-Man and Graham Gorman, they've had great matches. Even Felix 4, he's fucking fantastic. Stealthy is fantastic. And, uh, man, I mean, it, it, we just keep on... Uh, 43, though, that was... We, uh, we definitely shit the bed with the card placement. Uh, you know, but that's... You're living and you're living and dying by the sword. We we died on the sword for keeping that title, making it pristine. Uh, but Stealthy definitely is getting on in on this action. Edo Phoenix Four getting in on this action, and uh, Ant Man. I like Ant Man did a great job. He was almost in the fifties, uh, from what I recall. But uh, they did an awesome job, everybody there. Stealthy man, Stealthy Edo Phoenix Four might do low sixties. Uh, if it goes well. If they have a chemistry boost. What a fucking future match that is. That will do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. What an episode it was. We got to kind of look in the c verse to see how that was going for a bit. That was fun early on. Uh, but we kind of... And it's crazy. We have... Oh, as I say that, now I'm again to... Okay, it's going to go back to uh, We have a quick little turnaround. Crazy enough. As uh, we are... At the uh, Tsunami Foundation project, which is 13 days away, uh, you, I will say this: we do have basically two matches set up already. Uh, the tag match you saw in the main event that was, you know, Edo Phoenix Four making the save for Kenji Akamatsui. We're gonna have Edo Phoenix Four, Kenji Akamatsui take on Sumaki Samora, as well as uh, obviously Yuta Isano there, and then uh, the the big ass Dark Agents, a Legion of Love, eight man. That's finally gonna happen, and introducing a new character. I gotta make sure everything's okay on that end as well uh, beforehand. I'll do that off screen. But uh, that will do it for this episode, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everyone.